Okay, so what I want to show you here today is uh, we're going to talk about how to use background scripts uh, to do some bulk updates or bulk deletes. Now it's pretty often uh, that we run into situations where we've made a mistake or some integration has spewed a bunch of records into a table and we just got to delete them all. Or we've got to do a mass update of all these records to change this one value to some other value. Um, and there are some tips and tricks around doing that. Uh, so the first thing what you're going to do is we're going to use a background script. <clears throat> and in order to use background script, so we have to elevate our roles to security admin. So this does require security admin. At least last time I checked it did. Alright, so the first thing to do is to I search for and identify the records that we want to delete. Now it could be that we need to come in here to incident and we need to update a bunch of closed incidents uh, that are category software, right? So I'm going to show matching here, right? So I know they're all closed, and they're all category software, and you know whatever it is I I need to update for this. First step is to open up a list view like this and search for and narrow it down to just the the records that you want to either update or delete. The important thing here is that what you're going to do is this search, go to the end of it, right click and choose copy query. You're going to need that query. So that's the query that we use that we're going to use in our script in order to find those records. Right? So here what I want to do though is I'm going to go in our particular case and this works with whatever table in the system right but I want to get rid of all of this Hewlett Packard Packard software instances because well just for this demo purpose but you can imagine you know some discovery tool or input into our CMDB just loaded a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't need uh, and I only want the ones I've identified, I only want the ones that are install count one. All right, so I'm going to show matching there. And now I've got 62 returned here, and I've got my query, and I can right click and copy it. Now comes the fun part go to background scripts, and you're presented with this nice little. <laughs> uh, script editor. It's not quite as nice as the other script editors. <clears throat> but our very first step, right, is var query string equals and then we paste. Right? That's the string that I copied from uh, my list view. So it gave me that. So it manufactures this sys ID and install count it equals one. Right. So next we're gonna do a glide record, right? So var gr equals new glide record new <laughs> glide record, right? And then I'm doing the software, so I know it's this table. Software package. So we're going to open up the uh, software package class in the CMDB there by that table. And then we want to do a gr.add encoded query right. and we're going to feed that our query string right. so by encoded query it means this this is an encoded query so 
we're going to add our encoded query with our query string, right? And then we're going to run the query. Okay, great. So we in this script so far, we're going to search for those records in that table and we're going to run the query. Next, and this is one of the tips and tricks, is we're going to go GS log. Oh, sorry. First, we're going to go var count equals gr dot get row count. What this is going to do is it's going to get us the number of results returned so that we can gs dot log, right? to be affected, right? Then we're adding on count to this. And so what this is going to do is it's going to show up a, a, a message that's going to tell us how, how many records are we dealing with here. Alright, so this next part in this example, uh, I am just deleting, right? I just want to delete, bulk delete here, right? So I just go gr, gr dot delete multiple, right? And that command is going to just delete everything that we found. But what I want to do is I want to be sure before I hit this run script. One thing about background scripts are uh, they're permanent. <laughs> um, they're not fun. Um, they do have this record for rollback uh, check mark. So for very large bulk operations, you might want to uncheck this. Um, but here, before I actually do my delete, I'm going to comment this out. right? I just want to know, do I have my query right, and is everything else good? So I'm going to copy my whole query at this point, and I'm going to run. Boom. Number to be affected 62. That matches the search that I did earlier. I can feel pretty confident that I've got the right records. Right, so that's great. So at this point, I can just gr delete multiple and run. Typically, these take a little bit to run, and you don't get a lot of feedback. There's no progress bar. You just see that we're waiting, and pff, runs. Uh, happened to do a uh, CMDB CI table, so I got a little bit uh, more craziness, but you get the idea. Now, if I go back to my software, right, and I look at Hewlett Packard, I've got nothing with an install count of one. Right? So that's it. That's how you bulk delete with a background script. But what if you don't want to delete? What if you just want to update a bunch of records, right? So let's paste back our thing here. And instead of doing this delete, Right, we want to update them all. all right. So this one's not going to return any, so I'm going to just install count two. So we actually have some records. Uh, but uh, you're basically doing this in a while loop, right? While gr.next. So while there is still a next record, right? we're going to do a couple of things first before we actually set this up. Let's say we go gr dot uh, active equals false, something like that. It could be whatever. It's literally gr dot field name equals value, right? It could be anything like that. But 
there could be certain situations uh, where you want to do a big bulk update to data but you don't want things like the sys updated on field so you don't want to change the up last updated value right that date field for instance if you're bulk modifying a bunch of old incidents right if you just ran this script right without with just a straight gr dot update right it's going to and then close that out it's going to go out there and update them all and it's going to update them all and show that you the person me system administrator was the person who last updated it it's going to keep it in the audit trail and it's going to update the last updated on date which could be a problem so one thing i like to do if i'm doing big bulk updates is to make sure that i don't affect anything else the trick trick to that is this quick command auto sys fields false so what this is saying is for all those automatic sys fields things like updated by and updated on right don't run don't update those right and then maybe i don't want business rules to flow like maybe if i update all of these maybe they'll kick off some sort of notification and then i'll i'm going to spam everybody right so another one you want to do is gr dot set workflow false all right so what this is saying is for every record we're going to update the active to false right and we don't want it to update any of the auto automatic system fields things like updated by and when we want to leave those alone and we don't want any business rules or anything to run so we're going to set workflow to false so this will be kind of a uh, you know a, a background update of records without any sort of uh, tracking or auditing um, just so that uh, I've had several times you know customer has come in and said hey we changed our uh, categorization scheme and now uh, we want our hardware everybody all of our tickets that say hardware to say computer whatever um, but you know we want to update all of our old records uh, but we don't want to you know obviously don't want to update the updated by or the last updated on you know or anything like that we certainly don't want to kick off any uh, notifications about updates so these two commands here is auto sys fields and set workflow to false uh, you're gonna to want to use them if you're doing any sort of bulk updates right and then you've got your regular update command run this and it will do the updates but just as before before we do this right we're gonna comment out this update right and run the script that's to make sure that we have the right number of records that we're going to be updating you definitely want to do this step before you do anything else just to double check before you go uh, and then you can just go there it goes that's how it works hope you all enjoyed just remember uh, the important things here with background scripts are you have to be a security admin you have to be extremely careful um, if ever you are going to bring down your instance, uh, it'll be playing around with this background script stuff. So be very careful that you don't, especially that you don't end up in some sort of crazy loop. And doing this is a good way to avoid getting in a crazy loop that's going to bring down your instance. Uh, so remember, auto sys fields false, set workflow false, and then do your stuff. All right. So either. It, does it really apply if you're deleting, but uh, certainly if you're doing any sort of bulk updates, you want to use these. Uh, and remember, you can always you can use this query string. Uh, feel free to, uh, I know this is a video, but uh, feel free to copy this script. Uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, and have one 
have one with you. you know, obviously try it in your development instance, make sure things are working with the script, but have one of those in a, in a, in a, in a file that you can copy and paste because this is something you're going to need to do as an administrator from time to time. All right, there we go.